Okay, it sounds like between 2001 and 2004 it was hectic times for Blackwater. And they go into a lot of stuff in this book. This book is very thick. It's got a thickness and a lot of value, a lot of information. Of course, you won't appreciate that thickness if you have an e-reader. But uh, what I have here is a nice big book about Blackwater, all that you want to know. And they go into some great uh, themes, great stories. And one of the stories... One of the uh, references here, things he describes, is about abducting people. Apparently they got uh, a rendition group together, and they followed uh, certain procedures that, that they made up uh, in conducting the best kind of abduction. You want to dress your, yourselves in black. Wear masks. I'm guessing they want to focus on abducting at night for that, because <laughs> um, daylight, daytime abductions may not be quite as common as nighttime. And maybe they cut off the clothes of their abductor, or, or of, of their abductee, because they want to remove the scent, or just anything that a family member could identify them with. You just remove all those clothes. Because they could be distinct in some way, and somebody might recognize them. Um, then, for the trip to wherever the detaining cell is, they want to give them an enema and sleeping drugs. So they're going to try to get them to shit early on, and keep them out. And they're going to give them diapers. Because there's no stopping at any bathrooms for their their detainee between where they abducted them and the the detaining place. So they talk they talk about um, ideal spots in the world to take people, spots that have a terrible record with uh, human rights. Okay, the, you you don't. You don't really abduct people in the U.S. so much and, and detain them in the U.S. to, to question them, to, to torture them. It's, the U.S. has a high standard for that. We farm out those duties to other countries instead. So the U.S. may have uh, such a great reputation for treating people fairly, but they're ta the U.S. government takes advantage of of other countries um, lack of human rights instead uh, so that the US still looks uh, reasonable uh, it's it's interesting how that works out uh, it's just like with the economics with the economy and how we, we are still accepting goods from China with their their terrible uh, human rights uh, violations but we love them cheap prices, just like we love uh, quality uh, terrorist information, because people just aren't satisfied with asking questions n nicely and expecting to get the right answers. A little bit of torture, cut off a finger, pull out a toenail, um... You know, cut them a little bit, slap them around, electric prod them, waterboard them, whatever it takes. That's that. Uh, that's a little more satisfying. You you can really feel like you're getting better information from a person, especially the uh, the people that are are uh, considered a higher threat. You can really get more information from them when you do that. So, violate their human rights in other countries, such as Egypt. Um, I'm not sure of the other countries. Egypt is pretty well known. And they, I believe they did some torturing in Cuba. <clears throat> so, that's, that's a, a whole system there. It's a whole... A whole culture of people who are specialized in in abductions and tortures, torturing, and, and you know people just get the questions aligned 
to suit their needs 